I'm now heading to the neighboring city of Santa Clara. I'm on the campus of the Santa Clara University. The university was founded in 1851, making it the oldest institution of higher learning in California. The university's most famous attraction is this beautiful Spanish mission you see behind me. It's the mission Santa Clara de Assisi and it was founded in 1777 by Father Junipero Serra of the Franciscan Order. The mission was originally established a few hundred yards to the west under the name Santa Clara de Tamien, named after the local Indian tribes who were Christianized and enslaved at the mission. In fact, this mission had the largest Indian population of any mission in California. Over the decades, it was a victim to many natural disasters, which led to the destruction of the original church. In 1828, it was rebuilt here at its present location and named after the patron saint of the city. Of this small adobe stucco building we see right here is a Berryessa house and this is actually the oldest building in all of Santa Clara. It was built in 1840. Right, it's actually an art gallery now but what's really interesting is that it's actually located in the middle of this normal residential area. Now, unlike most adobe houses from this period, it actually wasn't built by the Spanish, but by a Portuguese family, which makes it even more interesting. My next stop is the wealthy suburb of Saratoga, where I'll visit the Hakoni Gardens and Vila Montalvo. There's a place up ahead and I'm going Just as fast as my feet can fly Come away, come away if you're going Leave the sinking ship behind Come on the rising wind We're going up around the bend We're in the beautiful Hakone Japanese Gardens in Saratoga and the gardens were established in 1915 making them the oldest Asian gardens in the state in the Western Hemisphere. This is an excellent replica of an authentic Japanese samurai or shogun garden designed by one of the descendants of the Imperial Gardening family.
That building you see over my shoulder is the upper house. It was built in 1918. <laughs> This garden is much more beautiful and much more authentic than the friendship garden we saw in San Jose yesterday. This beautiful building you see behind me is Saratoga's famous Villa Montalvo and as you can see it's an Italian Mediterranean Revival style villa that was built in 1912 for wealthy senator James Pellin. Oh, so cool. We have these flowers right here made from pure aluminum foil. Uh, this section of the estate is known as the Love Temple. I'm now traveling north to the world famous Marin County in the town of San Rafael, passing through one of the world's most famous cities and landmarks. This building you see behind me is the geez, This building you see behind me is the Mission San Rafael and it's actually the second youngest mission in California. It was founded in 1817 and what's really unique about this mission is that it's a little bit different, actually very different from most other missions in California and the reason for that is because it actually wasn't founded to Christianize and enslave the Indians, but it actually served as an assistencia or submission to the mission Dolores in San Francisco and it was actually used to treat sick Indians from that mission. So it actually makes it California's first sanatorium. But it was granted full mission status in 1822. This is the newer San Rafael Cathedral. My last stop in the Bay Area is the former state capital of Venetia.
Those crazy nights I do remember in my youth I do recall those were the best times most of all This beautiful building you see behind me is Venetia's famous Southern Pacific train depot. And it was built in the 1890s in the town of Banta and was actually relocated here to its present location in 1902. At that time it served as the main entrance to the city and it was the last stop for passengers before they boarded what at the time was the world's largest passenger ferry. I'm in the historic town of Venetia. It was founded in 1847 on the Mexican land grant. And for a brief one year period from 1853 to 54, it served as the California state capital. And it is from this building in which during that brief period, the state was governed. And the Senate is downstairs, the assembly is upstairs. This right here is the first state seal press. Flag on the wall looks a little different from the modern American flag. Yeah, because this, this does, this, right? This. Yes. Three period desks, three are correct for the time the capitals here. Uh, this one, this one, this one. These columns, before they were columns, these were the masts of uh -huh. Gold Rush sailing ships. Most 49ers came to California for a gold rush, 1849, by sea. No trees, they recycled from the ships. The floor you're standing on, white pine ship standing. Bold ass, the original of the wild ass, heavy base. All of these gentlemen have a bottle of whiskey. Most of them would be drinking their whiskey in here. If they're smoking cigars, they're going to get drunk and drop the scar on the floor. Writing in Russian, of course, I, I don't speak or read Russian. Check this out. All the votes here were actually for a yes. I can tell that because the hats are right side up, right side up was a yes vote, upside down was a no vote. Right here we have a portrait of John Bigler. Local historians will tell you that he was the most corrupt governor in California. Though I think that title goes to Jerry Brown. We're on the grounds of the old Venetia Arsenal and the first building of the Arsenal was actually erected here in 1851 but over the next two decades several more buildings were added. At the time it was the first 
and only army ordnance depot in the western United States. And the famous Civil War General Ulysses S. Grant was even stationed here for a brief time. Up until the end of World War II, it was the only ordnance supplier to military installations in the western United States, taking part in major conflicts such as the Civil War and the Korean War. And it was decommissioned in 1963 and is now open to the public as a museum. The arsenal also contains these elegant Victorian era mansions which served as officers' quarters. This building you see behind me is the arsenal's old guard house. This beautiful structure you see behind me is the Arsenal's old clock tower. It was built in 1859 as the first stone fortress in the far west. Now, it originally actually had two towers, but following an explosion in 1912, it was rebuilt with just this one tower you see behind me. And throughout its history, it has served as a chapel, munitions depot, and National Guard armory. 